This is video one of the topic, how does a nuclear power plant work? This is just an introduction. Okay, this is the 11th topic in everyday physics. In this topic, we're going to be looking at how nuclear power plants work. So to start with, we're going to be considering what nuclear power is. We're going to be looking at what the nucleus is, what it contains, at the strong nuclear force, and then we're going to be considering nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Next, we're going to be looking at some applications of nuclear radiation and nuclear isotopes. So we'll be looking at the different properties of alpha, beta and gamma radiation and then using these properties to explain in which situations it's good to use a certain type of radiation. So we'll mainly be looking at medical applications of alpha, beta and gamma radiation. Then we're going to get back right back into power plants again. So we will be looking at how power plants in general generate electricity and then how nuclear power plants specifically generate electricity. Finally, the electricity isn't much use to us if it remains at the power plant. So after this, we're going to be looking at how we get the electricity from the power plant to our homes. We'll be looking at the benefits of AC power over DC power and you'll be learning about the transformer which allows us to increase the voltage and reduce the current to increase the efficiency of the process of shipping the power from the power plant to your homes. So I hope that you enjoy this topic. In this topic, in the video lectures, we're look, not looking at many of the political sensitivities that surround nuclear power plants. But if you have strong feelings about how good they are or how bad they are, then feel free to post about these on the forum and get some discussion going. Thanks to Seb Freak for filming this video.